ever, the first in the last six years, uh, non-during hockey time skills play. Uh, we're going to be working on passing, flicking, shooting, whatever you want to call launching the puck today. So let's start with some questions and comments. Does anybody have any questions about what we're going to be working on today or comments about what they would like to see us work on today or what they would like to get out of this clinic? Your hand up. I just know that I need to remember to keep kicking like I always stop and pass. And I know for me, I need to keep kicking and pass and keep going. Yeah, that's a very good point. What Agnes said is that she needs to remember to keep kicking while she's passing. And that's something that a lot of us have a problem with and many of us don't even realize. But if you sit back and, and watch during a game, and just don't die for 30 seconds and watch all the players and touch the puck. I think you'll find that about four out of five of them, before they go to flick, like stop. Sometimes it's just for a second, sometimes it's kick a kick, stop, flick. But if you kick, 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 flick, you keep kicking all the way through it, you get an extra six inches on the end of your pass. Also, it's less easy for the opposition to read that you're about to pass, if there's no hiccup in your kick. Okay, so that's one thing we will definitely work on today. Um, anybody else? There's a lot of things going to telegraphing a pass, snapping your kick is one of them. Hit you with your arm is another, changing your position of your shoulders is another. And once you get good at not telegraphing your pass, you can also get good at faking a telegraph of your pass. You can make people think you're going to pass when you're not, or think you're not going to pass when you are. Those are all useful game skills. Um, we're also going to focus a lot on some really basic stuff. Um, kicking through your pass and not telegraphing your pass are a little bit more advanced. We're also going to focus just on straight up shooting mechanics. Okay, just sitting still, putting the puck in your stick and clicking it. Trying to get it higher, trying to get it lower, trying to get it longer, trying to get it shorter. All those things we're going to talk about. I've built some uh, PVC pipe barriers to help us have targets to work on specific distance passing and also specific height passing. So we'll work on all those. What I'd like to start with is everybody get your wrist warm. We're going to spend, I'd like everybody in the water by quarter after. And by 25 after, I'd like you all to have done whatever you need to do to get your wrist loose. We're going to be doing some passing where I'm going to be asking you guys to put quite a bit of oomph behind your shot. And if your wrist is still kind of stiff, not loose yet, there is a, a possibility of injuring your wrist. So what I'd like to see is some, you know, swing back and forth with the puck, moving it around, maybe some tic tacs, some short shots. Don't do big shots too early on in this process. It's important to get your wrist nice and loose comfortably, get all the muscles loose and ready to go, warmed up before you start. Some of the fundamentals of shooting a puck. 
the three things I primarily talk about are push, spin, and lift. And obviously you want to get all three of those. You want to get some push, obviously you have to get the puck moving. You need to spin it. If the puck doesn't spin on its axis, it's going to wobble and flop over and not go very far. It's like a frisbee. Try to throw a frisbee by flopping it, it goes 10 feet if you're lucky. Throw it with a nice spin, you can throw it 100 feet. 500 feet if you're good. Now, and then obviously lift. You get some lift just for the bevel of your stick. If you just keep your stick flat on the bottom, and push through and spin the puck. It will fly if you get enough oomph on it. You can get a lot more oomph by getting your shoulder, your uh, elbow down below the puck, starting to lift it off the bottom a little bit, and actually throwing it up and away from the bottom of the pool. So let's try to think about those three things in every shot we do over the next 10 minutes. We're really going to be thinking about mechanics. We're going to do some more of the relay drills. I want you guys to go slower. Don't worry so much about the legs. What we're trying to focus on here is really getting those three elements into our shot. Push, which you get by backing up your arm, cocking your elbow, cocking your shoulder, and pushing through the pocket. At the same time, spinning, which you do with your wrist. Okay, it's almost all in this motion. If you push and you stick back like this, it's going to roll down the stick. And then lift, you get by bringing the stick off the bottom, bringing your hand off the bottom, and starting to angle everything up as you flick forward. So let's think about those two things. I'm going to pull individual people out of the line periodically to talk about one of those three things most likely. I'm going to say, look, you're getting this result, and it's because you're doing this part and this part, maybe you can work on this part a little bit. So if you feel me grab me on the shoulder, I'll just move you to the side a little bit, give you some pointers, and then you can jump back in for the next one. So you can practice the same motion twice in a row 